Peace and greetings, everyone. So today we have an awesome new project. It's a um, improvement on some current projects that are currently out there. Um, there's quite a few projects that obviously use the CC1101 radios, but I wanted to elevate uh, this. So um, this is the ESP32 dev board for the Flipper Zero. And um, you could use it also standalone like I'm using now. Uh, but there's been a few other projects like the Evil Crow RF and <clears throat> also the CC1101 tool, which uses the terminal. Uh, but neither of those have a nice uh, display and buttons to make it a little bit easier if you didn't want to use the terminal. Um, so that's why I created this. Uh, so you can use one CC1101 radio, but I wanted to um, really step it up and use two. Um, so you can either transceive and receive or transmit on um, two different frequencies and do a whole bunch of other cool creative stuff. So I have uh, open source the code um, so you can find it down below um, if you want to test it out. And I'm just going to give a quick little look at uh, the new tool and then um, some more videos showing uh, testing and all of that. Um, but the Flipper board is currently as of this video, not on GitHub, but um, shouldn't take too long. Um, probably by the same day or tomorrow um, as of this video's date. Um, yeah, but pretty cool board. And then um, I also will be showing um, the breadboard example if you want to do that as well. Um, so it's pretty flexible. Um, the GitHub version will be just the generic ESP32 version that you could set up with your dev board or PCB. And then I also have a different version um, which really just connects to different pins on here. As you can see, um, I have two different rows for pins and then terminal blocks for ground and power. And um, these plug into the Flipper Zero according to the Flipper Zero's pins. Um, so yeah, let's check it out. So here are the boards. I uh, got these made through a PCB way, by the way, too. <clears throat> so when the project's out, you can um, just go and order them through PCB way and um, get it nice and easy. So here is the new and improved uh, 433 megahertz jammer. So no more terminal. You can just easily scroll through and check out all the different settings. So you can easily use uh, both of the radios to jam or because that you could program them to be on different uh, frequencies. You could either target the first one or the second one. You could scan and you could set the frequency ranges for scanning too in the code. You can test to see if your radios are working. So now you see both radios are connected. You can record raw, uh, play. So this just makes it super easy um, to record signals. Don't have my keys on me. And then you could easily just play the signals back. So yeah. Really uh, awesome. And then you can um, obviously modify these, add some amplifiers and all that. Um, if you want to know more, click the link down below. And then I have a more simpler uh, breadboard version. Plug that in. And for this, I just have uh, one uh, radio connected. And that is okay. You could use uh, one or two. And because of the code that I have there, I've added an extra library for the CC1101 that's heavily customized. Um, so technically you can um, duplicate uh, the library as much as you need to. And um, you could technically have, up, you could technically have, um, you know, five uh, radios if you wanted to. So yeah. I recommend um, trying it on the breadboard first, um, if you want. And I'm gonna make a, um, a custom PCB uh, just for this device. So I'll just have uh, eight slots for two radios and the screen and the buttons and the ESP32. Um, but this is nice because uh, it really allows you to do a lot. Um, so I've had a configure, I have code for the um, CC1 or for the uh, Bluetooth jammer. Um, I know there's a lot of people um, going crazy over that, but um, this you could easily upload the Bluetooth jammer code and have the two NRF 24s 
and um, have a really cool, sleek device. And I'm working on a board um, that I could place on top of here too, possibly. Um, so I won't have to use the wires. Um, so it'll just be like a small custom PCB on top. You know, not this size, but um, something a little smaller or cut a custom size, just a little strip. Cause then I could just um, have the radios on top, you know, something like that. Just have the radios on top with the little uh, custom board. So yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, just a quick little introduction uh, to a new project that I got finished. And really um, now you kind of have everything you need um, to build Project Star Beam. You have the two CC1101 radios with display and then I have code as well for the three NRFs on the ESP32 with the display as well. Um, so yeah, pretty much have all the building blocks. Um, Starbeam is only available at the Hacker Hardware Academy. Um, you can see the um, Academy and the club is free, um, but the Hacker Hardware Academy is paid. It's pretty much like Coursera, but for hackers and there's full um, lectures and courses and um, awesome exclusive resources as well, especially um, that's pretty much where the updated code of Starbeam will live at. Um, so check that down below if you're interested and uh, let me know if you have any questions with the uh, new code uploaded. And I'm gonna be working on putting um, the double um, CC1101 radios on like the ESP32 C3 Super Mini. So it'd be a super small version um, and maybe a few other uh, microcontrollers. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Good luck.